Hey, how's everybody doing? Mike here, Gen X Arcade, and today I'm going to show you how to make Crazy Taxi work. First thing we're going to do is make sure we get the correct emulator. So we want to select the game, and as it's loading, we're going to push the A button a couple of times. Once this screen comes up, you're going to take your joystick and scroll down to the second selection. It's going to say Select Emulator for ROM. Hit your A button, which is the bottom middle. We're going to make sure that it's set to IR-Flycast. You can see it's highlighted here. So we're going to hit the A button again, which is your bottom center. And then we're going to scroll down here and we're going to hit Launch. And that's automatically going to set it to make sure you're using the correct emulator. Once the game starts to come up, you can see it's starting to load now. You're going to hit your top middle button and your coin button at the same time. This is going to bring you into RetroArch. Now we're going to scroll all the way down to controls. Once you get to controls, hit your A button and we're going to scroll down to port 1 controls, A button to enter. And depending on which um, version of this image you're on, this is the older version. The older version you're going to look for it says key and you look for key L and key R. On the newer version, you'll actually look for L1. So see here we have an L2, you would actually have an L1 and an L2. But we're going to do uh, the key. So we're going to scroll right down until you've got key. It looks like a 1, it's actually supposed to be an L. But anyways, you want to make sure that's highlighted. And you'll see here you've got three dashes. You're going to use your joystick and move this over until it says, you can go left and right. And you want this to say trigger, trigger L. So key L is going to be L trigger. We're going to go down one. Now we're going to highlight key R. And we're going to do trigger as well for this side, but it's going to be trigger R. And all you're doing is just using your joystick to go over. And there we go. We're set on trigger R. Okay, so now we exit this screen by hitting your bottom B button, bottom left and we're going to go up to save game remap file. You're going to hit the A button. A little bubble should pop up down here telling you that it's saved. Now we're going to exit with the B button and we're going to exit one more time. See quick menu is highlighted. We're going to hit the A button for quick menu and we're going to hit resume. This will bring us right back into the game and this should confirm that everything works properly. Once the game starts to come up, you can start hitting your start button. There we go, push start. Um, on this particular version, I know it does say to use uh, your A button to decide. Well, it's actually the B button. It is backwards on this, unfortunately. So use your B button, and then you can select which one here you want to use. So we're just going to do arcade rules. Your B button is actually your A or your select button on this. Once the game loads up, I'll show you how it works. So, hit your B button again to select your driver in your car. Here we go, game is coming up. And now you can hold this down for your gas pedal. And you can steer. This is your brakes. Now, watch over here, you're going to see D and R, so you can change. Change to reverse, and then you can change back to drive. So there's reverse, and a stop. Okay, so drive is here. So here's your reverse, and here's drive. And there you go, guys. That's how you make Crazy Taxi work. All right, thanks for watching, thanks for sharing. See you guys at the arcade.